When all these things were settled and Helen was married to Menelaus, the kings and princes departed to their own homes, and peace descended upon the lovely land of Lacedaemon, of which Sparta was the chief city. And very soon Tyndareus gave up the throne and retired to enjoy his old age in peace and quiet. And Menelaus and Helen became king and queen. They had a lovely daughter called Hermione, and a son, Necostratus, and lived in great happiness for some years in beautiful Lacedaemon, until Paris the Trojan came. To begin with, all seemed fair and honest. Paris told them that he was visiting Greece on an, an embassy from King Priam to inquire after his aunt, Hesion, who was now the wife of King Telamon of Salamis. So Menelaus greeted his guest kindly, and he and Helen entertained the Trojan strangers for nine days. On the tenth, a message came from Menelaus that his mother's father, Catrius, had died in Crete, and he was wanted at the funeral. Suspecting no evil, he sailed away, leaving Helen to entertain the guests until they were ready to leave for Salamis. Next day, Paris said farewell to Helen and embarked with Aeneas and all his followers, but that night he returned to Sparta, and next morning he was on the high seas with Helen aboard his ship. For once Paris had seen the beauty of Helen, he cared for nothing in the world but to win her, by fair means or foul. And Aphrodite, having promised, was ready to help him with her magic arts.